In the heart of the rugged and majestic Rocky Mountains, a fellowship of runners had assembled, bound by a common purpose and an unwavering determination. They were not warriors with swords and shields, nor were they questing for a mystical ring of power. No, their journey was a different sort of epic. A quest for self-discovery, endurance, and the sheer joy of conquering nature's towering peaks. Each member of this diverse group brought their own unique skills, hopes, and fears. Their journey was not one of conquest, but of communion with the land. A humble quest to uncover the secrets of the mountains and to bond with one another through sweat, laughter, and shared moments of exhaustion. As their first steps were taken into the wilderness, the echoes of their footsteps reverberated through the pristine alpine air, embarking on a long run that would challenge not only their physical limits, but their very souls. Costumes, but this feels a little bit like cultural appropriation. <laughs> this is the song that I used to sing for the king every morning. It was about his wife who died in the plague. Yeah. It was something like this. <laughs> Red is the rose that in yonder garden grows. Fair is the lily of the valley. Clear is the water that flows from the boy And my love is fairer oh, my God, than so Right now? Yeah. Will this make the video? Uh, it depends what you say. <laughs> uh, it's definitely not making the video. Oh, yeah, yeah. I would argue maybe Morgan? even bigger. Huh? You think Bob Bunny is just as big as Taylor Swift no. globally? No, no way. Globally? Uh, globally, yes. Actually, yeah, fuck. In the right. US, not he, here. Well, he makes like the most money, doesn't he? <laughs> See? I think in like a year. He's dating Kelly, Kelly Jenner. Who, Who cares that he's dating Kylie Jenner? Jenner. Kay yes. Who? Uh, let me grab Kaylee my little Jenner. drink. Here. Are you saying Caitlyn Jenner? No, Kaylee. Yeah, no. Kylie? Kylie? Oh, yeah, Kylie. <laughs> <laughs> He's dating for that one. Uh, for, like, I was like, sorry, language part. Either like what short spandex or pants. So. I mean, I had to do this. Do a little bit and then take it off like we have a drink before class. Anything to say before the run today? What do you want? What I want to say? Whoa. Um, I'm going to die. Where else would you want to die? I nutted on my shorts. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the vlog. Um, today we are at Mags. Okay. Let's go. You're at 18%. How do you expect to make a, bad, a video out of this? Because you're going to film the rest of it on your camera. Okay. Okay, and... and then it would do just the, uh, go. Go. Intro. And we made it to Rollinsville. George's birthday, long run. Very exciting day. The whole team is here, including Helen. So, 
Got to be a good one. It's only our second long run together, so it's I don't think it'd be that crazy. Okay? I mean, <laughs> up here it's always challenging, <laughs> and anything can happen. Like but a bear attack, for example. Shot, you know, but I think everyone is in. That hasn't happened. <laughs> it could happen, <laughs> though. And I'm sure it has happened. I, I, can happen. It, had, I'm, well, it can and probably has. Anyway, 14 <laughs> miles. Everyone's got around 13 to. I think the big boys are going 17. Big boys plus Alicia, probably. So, very excited. Just working out some parking situation right now because they tow cars here because they hate runners. They hate them. So. Working out where Joe's gonna park and then come meet us. But I think we're pretty much ready to go. What I'm gonna do is everybody here except for Joe and Sage who are walking over here. Alright. So, uh, so. We better buy something from that store so we can tell. Why didn't they just get in the car with the rest of them? That's a good, good idea. Drama. Okay, good cue, good cue. Helen is still okay. training for the marathon, so three, six. <laughs> I can see them. Oh, no. No. She's no. still no. training for another. I don't know if you guys have heard of the New York Marathon, but I'm telling you. You've never heard of this thing that's called the New York City Marathon. So she, so it's kind of a big deal. It's kind of a big deal. <laughs> Helen, Helen, look, let's yeah. go. Yeah. Oh my god, I didn't realize it was going to say Helen Obeer cheer team. I yes. love that. Yeah. Yeah. I will say so this good. though, it is so it is uh this is a week earlier than we would we did want to come up here. So but maybe so it's our cool. last chance to hit this, so go easy today. It's not really very flat. <laughs> so right. easy. And then Helen is not supposed to go past the boys for the first 10 miles. All right. <laughs> I love that long time boys casual shirt. Is that everyone? Wow, what a start. Epic. Please drive safe. Go to Haze. Martin Days. feel like exploding so everything's normal another day up in uh, in the mountains beat the run out of 10 0 right. I think it is 10 uh, 11 11 out of 10 what did you rank it he said 0 shut up i'm not <laughs> yard is faking he loves running he loves running he loves running with us and he tries to make it seem like he doesn't. He makes it seem like it's hard. Oh, look at him. He doesn't even look like he just ran. I love. Hey, gas I love That's what he does. The fuck up. I love. The sun looks cool. Look, I love running, and I love running with them. I don't like this run specifically. It's All right. So best run of everyone's lives, right, Tinta? Yeah. We had a great time. Uh, I'm gonna Dude, do some. So cool right now. Gonna do some stretching and then get in the water. What does it look like? I can't see it. Should I look at it? No, you don't do that. That's not safe. But a beautiful day here in, where are we? Rollinsville? Rollinsville. I don't know. Felt good. Did you have a good time? No. No? Okay. Well, not for everyone, I guess. Not for everyone. Welcome to our home. This is where we live. Where do you sleep? I sleep. See that big rock there? That's Morgan's rock. And then my rock is the one behind that bush over there. Yeah. And then. And Gus sleeps in this little puddle right here. He likes to be nice and cold up there. Because he's a hot bod. And so the fellowship of runners, triumphant and wary, stood at the trailhead as the sun dipped below the horizon. The mountains, both formidable and transformative, had tested their limits and bound them in an unspoken camaraderie. 
With gratitude in their hearts, they descended, leaving behind the untamed landscapes that had become their creation. Their journey etched in shared challenges and victories was a testament to the enduring spirit found in the pursuit of the extraordinary. As darkness settled, they carried with them the echoes of their epic run, a narrative filled with resilience, unity, and the joy discovered in reaching heights beyond themselves. I'm a kitty cat. I'm a kitty cat. Meow.